Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome to Slime Lot Land. Yes, there's a bunch of flying machines around behind me, and we are going to be taking a look at them. So, if you are just here for a tutorial, I can zoom around and show you my flying machines. So you have a 2x2 two two up, down elevator here, which goes up and down by powering these observers. You have another up, down one here which you power these observers to go up and down then if you want to go side to side you have this one which is the rotation of that over there and if you want to go side to side you also have this one which is small and, one and compact that is 2x2x2 two by two by two. so you can just pause the video and copy these if you want to but also I am going to talk about how they actually work and how physics work which is Minecraft so slightly weirdly. So all these flying machines work on the same principle which is that you have an observer and an observer powers a piston. So how it works is if I were to trigger this then the observer would be triggered. The observer would then send a zeroic pulse to the piston. The piston then pushes this out is zero ticks, it's a sticky piston and it's zero ticks so this bit ends up being shuffled up by a block and then this observer goes oh something's changed so it does the same thing as that and it zero ticks and pulls it back up so you end up with the whole thing just moving up a block and then this observer's then been moved so it goes again and the same principle applies to all of them to that one there and this one here just these ones on the side this one over here but some of them do it in slightly different ways like this one and that one and that one work by the observer directly powering the piston whereas some of them like this the observer actually powers this block and because in minecraft terms that's a solid block that then powers that because when you power a solid block it then powers things next to it so that works and they all work but some of them have useful features like say on this one I can do this I'm just using nether wart as my wart, wart, wart as my example thing so da, now I've got a car and this car works if I turn on this thing see I've got a working car it just moves I mean I, I call it a car it flies and it went weird and threw me out yeah I also have these these automatic send you back mechanisms. Oh, um, I broke it. Oh well, it'll fix itself. So on these, on that one, you can make sort of a car, and on that one, of course, you can't. I guess you could put some stuff like on the side here if you wanted to. Don't see why not. But on this one, I've already got it on top. You don't actually need that. It it works perfectly fine without that but I have it as sort of an elevator. This, this one's a nice one to use for an elevator. But so on this one, that doesn't work because if I, I have to have the slime here to put these on because if I put it on here, it won't connect, so I have to have slime there. But then the problem is this connects this one, this, this one here connects to that one there. And you can solve this problem by using honey because slime and honey don't connect. But because this one works by powering that and in Minecraft terms this is a more solid block than that yes yes physics but this then doesn't work so that one is useful for this one is useful for pushing things but not so useful for pushing people so my then my auto flying mechanisms this one is the same as the one over here and the one up the top here pretty much. It works by when the flying machine comes in, there's an observer here that looks at it, the observer sees it, it then powers this, goes around, powers the piston, there has to be a delay there because otherwise as soon as it comes in it pushes it and it doesn't work because it's still moving pretty much, or at least the back bit's still moving and then it gets confused. So you have to have some delay and then the piston pushes out and then the observer sees it. So I can turn you off. I've got a lever there which powers it and basically just pushes the piston out, doesn't let it work. 
So when you see that then triggers that. It's a bit weird it sort of double fires, but you can see that when it comes in, it then it powers it. It's a bit flippery. Just that's a bit annoying. But you see when I turn this on, it just pushes the piston out, and so that doesn't matter because it's already powered. Then this works on the same thing, it's just a slightly different resonant line because it's an up-down one. But there's a more interesting design here that you can use on vertical ones. So this this torch, when I turn it on, will power that. Then because this is technically a solid block, this is then powered, which then triggers the redstone line, the redstone line goes around to the piston and does the same thing. So it does the same it does, does the same thing. Just it's not using an observer, it's using redstone going through a solid block. And this method works faster, doesn't get all that flickery weird double powering stuff. And if I turn it on, you see that then goes up. You also still have to have the delay, that's just how it works. So we have sort of the, the observer design here. And it goes flashy flash flash. That does not need to be a sticky piston by the way. It just is. But then when this comes down here, it goes... Uh, see? It just goes one thing. But unfortunately you can't use that on side to side ones. It just it doesn't work because there's no way of putting it in and taking it out and having this here and that there. It, it doesn't work. I suppose if you're very clever, good at redstone, which let's be honest I'm not, you might be able to make something work. But I mean it, it's for up that works for up down, this works for left right. So what more do you need? But the problem the problem with these kinds of designs is that you can't you still can't put anything on top. And this one you can and this is why this one makes such a good elevator, because you just have to do stuff with these and these aren't in the way. You can have this go into a nice floor of obsidian or other non pullable box and it'll be fine. And you can have all the mechanism hidden more hidden hid, hidden that's a word now. Hidden away and and it's, it's nice and clean, but that's one way of doing it. There's another way of doing it. And an application of the, that whole thing is like this, this little car, and it needs powering there, but I can get in, and ta-da, I've got a working car. It's going backwards at the moment. Let's just get out, and you just need to trigger it, jump in, you can make the automatic if you want, and ta-da, working car. So this is using all the same mechanisms. There's a little flying machine in the middle there. If I just you know, and take this off, this this observer powers that, which then powers this, and it's the same, not the same, it's just not the you've got this observer then directly powers that. I guess I could have this observer here. But then that wouldn't connect to it. Yeah, it's this, this is a weird little car thing I made. It works mostly. It's a little bit asymmetrical, but never mind that. It's it's good enough, I guess. Also, it has a nice window, but it can't be any bigger than this because it's got too many blocks already. Really, it's, it's not like if it touches anything, it breaks. So that's. That's one way, that's not one way, that's an application of all of this, all of the stuff you have just learned, or that you, maybe you already knew. So that's, that's Minecraft flying machines. So thank you for watching, don't get distracted, go subscribe now, and make sure the notification bell is on. But until next time, goodbye.